is a Dectite combo. It's our most versatile Dectite. We say versatile because it does two jobs in one. It has a dual purpose. It's an EPDM pipe flashing to fit on a non-tiled roof application. It's most commonly used to seal pipes through roofs, soil pipes, chimney pipes, flue pipes and vent pipes. And also where you can't get the pipe over the top of the flashing, you can wrap it round. You wrap it round by cutting up the seam and then resealing the seam with the use of the provided clips which are attached to each product. You simply make a cut and then apply some silicone and reseal it as you wrap it round the pipe. That avoids you having to take it over the top of the pipe. That's why we call it a combo. It's a combo because it has a dual use. It comes to you supplied complete so that if you don't need to cut it then that's fine. It's available in EPDM in grey and black from sizes from 0 to 760 millimeter, also in silicon red at the same size range. The silicon red will take temperatures up to 250 degrees centigrade and the EPDM black and grey will take 150 degrees centigrade. You simply look at the cut measurement marks for your pipe that you're trying to seal and these are available in inches or in millimetres. You cut around the groove and this will offer you snap seal. Underneath we have grooves built into the moulding. When you apply a silicon sealant this enables it to seal against the roof and the deck tight interface with no leaks. There's an embedded aluminium surround for use with screws or stick in depending on the roof type and it gives you the ability also to mould and form the product to any profile on the roof that you may have. We'll now be showing you how to install this product with an installation video. We're not going to fit this one because it's a very high pipe and you can't get to the top of it. This you can snip down there with, with a pair of snips pass it around behind, bring it around, and then once you've got it this side here, over the pipe, there are grooves in the rubbers. These will slide down over like that because there's grooves in the clips. Before you do that, you fill that groove with mastic, slide your clip down over, put it where you want it first, and again, and again, and again, and in there. Once you've got it to where you want it, then you can crimp the clips together, which seal the rubber to rubber, but also you have the mastic in there as a secondary. Uh, that is your seal. You have to still trim the pipe to the size of the pipe that you're using. This one is 110 mil. So on the side here, you have the sizes graduating up with an arrow pointing to the groove. So I have a 110, 130. So I want the second groove down. You cut these with a pair of snips, not with a knife, Cut down to the line with the pair of snips. Check that you've got a nice clean cut. You don't want any nicks going down this way because when it's put under pressure that will split. Now we're not going to cut this one on this one. We're going to slip it down over the top. You want it nice and tight. If it's too tight, don't use washing up liquid of any description. A little bit of water will let it slide that slides then through. So once you have it on there and it's nice and square, we're gonna screw it on there first so that we know it's square there and there. Bend it into the profiles of the sheet, put it around here. We will fix all the screws right the way around. Once we've done that, we'll mark it around with a felt tip pen. Just pull it up to invert it. Put my mastic bead onto there, inside the felt tip pen line. Put all your screws back in the original holes and then gently tighten down from the top downwards. Make sure the mastic spews out of underneath the flashing so you know you've got a good seal. 
Make sure you got it square and right into the creases here. So these screws now want to be about 25 mil apart. Okay, so I've got all my screws in there, they're all drilled, so I just need to mark around the outside with a felt tip pen. So I'm just going to lift this one up in the air now. I'm going to put my mastic now on the inside of the pen line. Now, get that back down there. All you want to do first is get two screws in, which is one at the top, one at the bottom. Now just put all your screws back in. So I've gone right the way around, tightening them up. I check all the way around to make sure the mastic is spewing out and nice and evenly all the way around. If you find any holes, you need to take off the section, lift it up where the hole is, put some more mastic in, and then screw it back down again. That way you'll be certain. Put your finger around it like that. All you have to do now is put on the colour-coded caps which come in the fixing kit. Nice and tight. That's your deck tight.